Right, it's that time of year you go to work and every day there's that junk counter that just has Oreos. I yeah, had three of them. I know. Three, that's pretty Cookies good. Cookies and pastries and caramel corn. Anyway, you, you know what we're talking about. But the resolution already thinking about getting in better shape. It's also the resolution that's given up on the most. And one of our newsroom workers happens to be a fitness trainer and he has some tips on how to get results with a very simple plan for 2020. My name is David. I'm the assignment manager here at KHON2 News, but I'm also a fitness trainer. So I'm going to take a minute to go around the office to show people how they can stay fit during the holiday season. So let's get started. Okay, we've got the lovely Bridget here. Okay, and Bridget's looking good, but just like all of us, you know, we want to be uh, better fit and healthier. All right, the core exercise we're going to do is just chair sit-ups, okay? And these are things you can do in the office. Like that? You got it. You got it. Can you feel your core tightening? Yep, I don't like it. Okay. But you know what's going to happen? You're going to get used to it. You're going to have fun. You're going to start to see results, and you're going to end up wanting to do it every day. It's amazing how much more you can do when you have a really solid core. So, you know, usually uh, the core exercise, you can do, you know, about 20 to 25 of these, and then we'll move on to another exercise. The next portion of our exercise, cardio. I'm gonna bug someone here at work. So I wanna show you something. Do you like mountain climbers? Uh, I've never done them. Okay, all right, which is good because I'm gonna show you to do the chair mountain climbers. I'm not gonna make you get on the ground. So it's, it, it's as simple as this, okay? Just climbing, but you're pushing against the chair. Something you can do in the office, obviously. But here's the deal. Pick it up. There you go, there you go. Okay, slow down. You definitely will lose more in calories when you speed up and then slow down. And if you do this for, you know, when you're first trying out, maybe 30 seconds. Um, and again, you speed it up, slow down, speed it up. Then after you get better, you can do these for a minute. And you can do them in between uh, sets where you're doing resistance. Okay, resistance is very important in the workout too. That's what builds your muscles. And we are gonna start off with this guy and we're gonna work on lower body resistance. Okay, Eric, All right. stand up for a second. Okay, okay, pretend you're gonna sit down in this chair, but I'm not gonna let you sit in. So get your butt back, okay, like you're about to sit down. Now go all the way down, do that five times. You want to feel the weight in your heels, and you never want your knees over your toes. Okay, so butt back a little bit more. There you go. That's much better. Okay, tighten your quads and tighten your glute muscles. I've found when we get older, sometimes it's really hard getting out of a car. Why? It's because we're not strengthening, keeping our, our legs strong and our glute muscles strong. All right, good job. Okay, we're going to do overhead presses. So, why don't you stand up for a second. Okay, the overhead press, you want to have your chin tucked, okay? Shoulders retracted a little bit. Get your rear end back a little bit, bend the knees. Okay, put the muscles, or uh, the weights up, and you want to go like past your ears. Okay, so good, 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 there you go. Now turn around a little bit so we can see that form. Okay, good, back and down. to here? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and then go back up. Is it 90 degrees? Yep, yeah, you got it, perfect because the, the, the most important thing is the weight is not going in front of your head. That's so bad for your neck. Okay, you've done plenty, that's good. Um, the exercises I've showed you, they're quick and effective and they're easy, they're fun, they're creative, and that's what we want you guys to be able to do because then you will want to continue to do this. Even if you do like three times a week, that's enough. Eventually you'll be like, hey, this is so much fun, I'll do it more than three times a week. Rest your body though, that's important too, but the importance is, is to do something that you like that gives you results, and then you won't give up on that New Year's resolution of being healthier. All right, is her left bicep as big as her right it's side bicep? Bigger, I it's getting bigger, I swear. It's jiggly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta flex, see? It's jiggly. I've been working on it. Climb that mountain. You know, I've been, I actually, I bought two weights Keep them at my desk to work on it. I have I have photos. It's a slow I mean, process. <laughs>
<laughs> there you go. You're in good shape. Literally when they were doing that segment, I remember walking out of the newsroom or into the, the, that area and turning around going, nope, I'm not going to do <laughs> exercise. <laughs> Just like Manolo walking the back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, no, I hike. We, we move on. That.